Hey everybody, Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here to wrap up the day. Back on the desk here in New Jersey. I was on the road most of the day, but that really didn't stop us in the room from doing what had to be done. I mean, they opened the thing. They couldn't get through our proprietary moving average. That turned into a 97 short for us. I didn't trade the long side all day. It just, the timing of me running around and doing what I had to do today, it just, it didn't work. So we took a bunch of profits down here. Uh, we finished the position. Then we got to the key moment of the day. We talked in the webcast this morning about how the weekly pivot there at 2900, whether that was gonna become a lower high or a higher low and was gonna support either a move down or a move up during the balance of the day. That's resistance at the weekly pivot which set up another short for us against 2,900. I get about 2,098, 98 and change for most people. We took that down and did a little, little lower low. Now, all they did after that was screw up, right? We did a smaller short here, but ultimately these rallies continue to be sold. And as long as the weekly pivot continues to want to be resistance, I'm gonna be a seller of those rallies because there's only so many times it's gonna stall at the weekly pivot and you come back in before it just, you know, it heads down deeper. Now, the flip side of that is this. If they convert weekly pivot to support, then I'm a flaming dip buyer. All the way back up to making new all-time highs this week. So 2,900, whether you want to talk about the big round number, weekly pivot, it's all right there. So as we get into tonight, how does that number want to react? So the same key that we had heading into the day, we have heading into tonight that price provided a lot of opportunity about 16 handles worth in the room great way to start the month great way to start you know what is a short week i will take it every time uh, take care we'll be out with a webcast in the morning trade them well